gentle evaluation. <laughs> the first time that, so it's going to be a general evaluation, general evaluation, but that so I've been reminded to do it gently. So I'm a gentle gentleman. And we're going to do a gentle evaluation, right? Okay? For those who are new to Toastmaster, general evaluation basically would be someone who'd be picked to um, do evaluation on those who have not been evaluated at the meeting. So clear, right? Very clear. So let me go straight into the meeting. First of all, a big round of applause to such an impressive and fun-making meeting to all those who are Thank you so much. It's our first meeting for our new president, Sam, right? Yes. I like Sam opening the meeting on the dot, meaning that he opened the meeting at 7.15. Now, that's a very good gesture, a very good message to everyone that Sam will do it very professionally, right? On that Sam, you deserve the biggest credit. Thank you. Thank you. As the president opening the meeting, the best way to do, of course, is to relate people and loosening up atmosphere. And obviously, Sam has done that, talking about weather, hot, why you're here, so on and so forth. I like the way you handle it. Then I noticed that in gender, there's something called the thought of the day by yourself, right? And you didn't seem to mention anything on that. So I suppose that might be a, a typo or whatever, whatever, right? If you may like to take it away. <laughs> And you may also like to mention he something. Did that. He just blended into his own. Oh, I see. Okay. So you mentioned about some thought of the share with us his thought of the day, right? <laughs> Perhaps next time you don't need to mention it. I mean, on the agenda. Then free to share whatever you have with us. That would be perfectly fine, right? And also, you'd like to say something on the Toastmaster evening, because um, may not everybody understand this term, Toastmaster evening. So before you introduce Jonathan, say what the Toastmaster evening does that would help as well. Overall, Sam, very good introduction. Uh, you look exceedingly presidential. So I'm sure you're doing your job right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan, what can I say about you? I mean, you prepared so well for the meeting, we can all tell. And you put in a lot of effort in the linkage, the speakers, and so on and so forth. And we can tell by what he has done to make such a lovely, fun-making meeting. Jonathan, you obviously you deserve our biggest. <laughs> if I may point to some points of improvement, one is that you like to mention about the change in the agenda. While you, at the very first, I mean at the outset, you like to tell us what are the changes in the agenda that would help. The second thing is what I like to say about finger management. That most of the time when we use fingers, as a speaker, we must be very careful because one finger is very dangerous, you know why? Because <laughs> if you're pointing at the audience, I would believe the most audience would not like to be pointed at, the first thing. Second thing is when we're getting so excited, we may not be too sure which finger we're using. So <laughs> <laughs> that finger must be carefully handled, so I call finger management, right? Okay. Then what's the next one? Yes, I may go to the sergeant at arm we have Melody. It's a melody or the, the uh, yeah, yeah, Victor. Melody, of, melody on that part, you have done very well. You had a extended the essential hospitality <coughs> to all the guests. And perhaps you may like to call them guests instead of just visitors. Mm -hmm. So to uh, really uh, tee them up in terms of their status. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that you feel the hospitality, right, of Central. And Central store is always open for you. Today's visitor or today's guests tomorrow's member. This is what I want to So once again, thank you very much, Melody. Now I go straight into the evaluator first. We have um, the evaluator of the table topic. We have Erica. 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 Uh, sorry, Erica. Sorry, Erica. I like the way you handle the evaluation. It's jolly fun because uh, she was very happy doing the evaluation, right? I like the way you handle it. Kind of very frank. I can feel your energy, your friend, and you were you, you were very at ease doing your evaluation. The self-deprecating part, my English is not as good as you think of that, that kind of thing. I mean, all very excellently kind of executed in the evaluation. And I like the way you handle the comment for the individual speakers. They're all very valid, and uh, all five of them, including the table topic master, and the humor as well. Make very much point for your for you would be that I know this is somehow at a certain point you have this uh, schoolgirl kind of posture. You know what? You stand like this. <laughs> 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 you still do 
<laughs> so uh, you, you may like to pay attention to that. Although, it, I mean, I'm sitting over that, it really is very appealing, looking at you and then you do <laughs> kind of youthfulness and uh, that fits very well with you. But if you would like to, as I can tell that actually you're a very good speaker, you can go really professional on that. That's so important. All right, once again, thank you. First evaluator, we have Clyde instead of William. Clyde, obviously, greatness thrusts upon you the second time, right? You being the VP education, but the very first time greatness thrusts upon you, and you being the evaluator for Scott, it's your second time the greatness thrusts upon you. And obviously, the Clyde has an excellent proficiency in the language, and I can see that you are a perfect evaluator for Scott. I like, again, I like his way of um, relating with Scott before he went into his evaluation. Very observant, very detailed, very encouraging. I'm sure, Scott, you like his evaluation. Point, uh, I mean, relating the name and then saying something about himself so on and so forth. That's a very good way of evaluating project one. And you also pointed out to Scott what you believe the point of improvement for Scott. And if I can add to that, just a little thing, little thing I noticed that Scott Pay attention to your watch, right? <laughs> you did look at your watch. Uh -huh. I, you're very time conscious about your speech, right? Yeah. Did you? And perhaps with a timekeeper over there, next time you may like to really re depend on your timekeeper to give you the time indication. Because you can then focus entirely on your presentation and delivery. Right. Because you're a very good speaker as well. I keep forgetting what the is. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, overall, this is a very interesting speech. And Clyde, you have also given a very interesting evaluation. Thank you so much. You. And you're on, the, on, the, on the eye contact, you may also like to extend a bit on, on this side as well. You already, you already told us about this. So overall, both of you, very good, very good. So what can I say about Ruth, our second individual evaluator? I mean, you have been named the pearl or <laughs> sensual, right? Goddess, sun, whatever. <laughs> a very kind of professional evaluation. We can learn so much from Ruth, and we all know that Ruth is a champion, and this speech in particular not easy to evaluate because, and I, I noticed that Ruth highlighted the very interesting point about um, our speaker, Terry, is that we could be a bit more, put in a bit more emotion perhaps, uh, narrowing down, I mean all these are very bad comments overall, I, I, like, I like Ruth's evaluation. If I may really uh, try to pick something from that evaluation that you may notice in the objective, there's something on that you may like to comment on the transition, on the opening body conclusion, and perhaps a bit on, on the conclusion, because I notice that perhaps Terry's conclusion could be a bit stronger to uh, reflect overall how we can use smartphones smartly. I mean, it's only his point. Overall, um, what can I say? I mean, as the germ of Sensula, Yes, yes. But there's a Chinese saying. There's a Chinese saying. Have you ever heard of a Chinese saying that um, when you're really getting old, you will become a treasure in the family? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you can equate something to that. Right? Now, then we swap the evaluation. Simon was asked or summoned to give his evaluation <laughs> on the advanced speech of Chua Huai. And Simon, again, very fluent in your language and very kind of uh, impromptu, very dynamic. I like evaluation, a lot of energy, and I like the way you handle Chua Huai's uh, evaluation, all the encouragement, the good point, the constructive feedback, and so on and so forth. You mentioned about there's something you were not quite too sure, particularly the Chua Huai's way handle this um, so-called proposal. Is not business like enough. Now, I, I, I like the point. Actually, in the objective, it states very clearly that Chuan is expected to come up with this six step method. Now, perhaps you would like to ask Chuan what kind of six step that she has used in your approach of persuading us. Because it was not very clear, actually, in her speech. The speech has a, a lot of uh, good points in terms of drawing our attention, the peace zone, and so on and so forth, and the intention all very clear. But this six step, I suppose, is something to do with arousing our interest uh, or disturbing us and then coming to all those little things, right? I believe that you have made up those, you, you have already mentioned those, but if you may like to mention those six step methods. 
overall this is uh, a good speech. As we noticed that she actually fell to the ground. <laughs> And it's not easy. It's done very professionally, right? <laughs> <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much. On the two of you. Now, on persuasion, uh, interestingly, when we come to Jackie's evaluation. Now, Jackie, interestingly, when you were doing the evaluation, you look so much more gentle and soft compared with your table topic answer. I don't know why. <laughs> we're talking about the moth, yeah. you know, uh -huh. jumping the fire. You were so you were on fire. You you were on fire. <laughs> But then in the evaluation for melody, you were not that, you were a bit more gentle, a bit more mellow. For some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, so uh, again, this is a project free. So it's on getting to the point. And melody attempted to persuade us. And I must say, we're sitting over there, we're listening to the speech, I was amazed by your remarkable memory of all those figures. Although I, I, I mean, in no way that I could challenge you whether those figures were correct or not. But in the way that I was drawn by those figures, on the verge of suffocating, then I would say, I would take whatever she says. I mean, that's the way I, I feel, uh, sitting over there. I was not quite too sure that all figures all around me. So then at the end, she said, all right then, happiness, income, they're not professional. And I was sitting over there, I know my head, yeah. I was almost <laughs> dying. So that was how I felt. So perhaps, you have pointed out, Jackie, that is something that she could kind of work on to make it, you know, less is more. It's the, the approach in doing it. But overall, this is a, you got all these comments from Jackie already, right? Good way to work on it. And then uh, look forward to your full speech. And Jackie, thank you very much to both of you. <laughs> then I think you're coming to China. Grace, right? Grace has done kind of his job. Great job. Great job. Yeah. It's a visual report, Grace. If I may comment on two things, on what I call the non-verbal delivery of your speech as a timer. First, I remember when you first came out to tell us about the role of timer. The best thing to do would be, instead of talking while you're walking down, you may like to find a spot, stand still, look at the audience before you start talking. Because that would be a way to command the audience. So you only speak after you stand still. That would be one comment for you. The other part was that you're trying to finish off the, uh, the written report, and you're having your back towards us, right? My suggestion is, although your back looked very good, but then still, <laughs> <laughs> having our back to the audience may create a disconnection. So the best thing to do would be either if you write, you may either write in a way that you're still showing your front to us. That you still be connecting with us. So this is kind of non-verbal element in a in a presentation. So overall, I must thank you for all the kind of careful and very detailed work that you have done for us. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Hunter, JC, what can I say about JC? I cannot believe that you are not a Toastmaster. Tell me, be honest. Are you a Toastmaster? Yes. You are a spy, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could not believe that a non-Toastmaster could, could perform his duty as an accountant in such a professional way. So you are a Toastmaster, right? Yes. So uh, you're spying oh. us, right? I'm a transplant, but so. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, and thanks again for the experience. I will have no, no comment on your, on your job as an accountant. Perhaps next time do something more sophisticated, even more sophisticated, even more challenging, right? Thank you very much. And will you join Central? <laughs> <laughs> Say yes. Yay. You can see them. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> then NC, what can I say NC? The word of word master. It's very controversial. You pick the word controversial. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy for all of us, but this is and I like the way you have done research on this word, telling us, you know, that the, the history of the word how from Latin so and so forth. And also at the end you thank everybody, you're very appreciative, I like all this. I the only thing would be that that, that word itself controversial. <laughs> it's not easy for us, but it's a good challenge on us. And it's good that this evening we try something new and you set a wonderful first example for all of us. Thank you, Enzi. Thank you. Thank you. Then finally, on our grammarian, right? Paul. Paul, newly married, right? <laughs> You're still a married man? <laughs> 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 I mean, the first, first time 
think that the grammarian talks so much on romance. Because we expect you to talk about grammar, not about romance. And you also talk about time, you know, buying time techniques. So it's an all-rounded grammarian. <laughs> But we all enjoy Paul Zimmer, right? Mm -hmm. This is one of, again, you're one of the centuries, the treasures, I could <laughs> Giving you a bit more time. <laughs> Overall, we all enjoy tonight's meeting, do we? Uh, yeah? Yes. So I'm sure that like, at the end, like uh, what Jackie mentioned about, there's no such thing as too hot to handle, right? Central, obviously, is a hot club with all the hot members. And I'm sure <laughs> this is a place for all of us to escape from work, to have a good two hours, and we can continue our chatting and fun over dinner table after the meeting. With that, I had to go back to our Toastmaster of the evening. Jonathan. Okay.